Morning all. Thank you for joining me today. We'll just let some people start joining in. Hopefully they will. Okay. All right, so what we are going to be doing today. All right, there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to be showing you today is how to make um, two different styles of butter necklaces. So you can either do it along with me at the, uh, now or you can do it later and watch it back um, again and again. This is going to be the first design. So this is kind of what I describe as a chunky uh, necklace. And with this one, I use one pack of buttons, which I've got here. And I do these, we sell these in the shop and we do them in all different um, colour ways. I've put that light on, I wonder whether it's better without, no, it's definitely better on, I think. Um, so, all different colour ways. This is the vintage button mix, which is this one that I've got here. So you can see it's a really, really nice colourway and it looks different from both sides on this design. Um, but we've got them in all sorts of other colours. We've got the blues, you might have seen the Facebook pe um, post. We've got blues, we've got reds, greens, we've got this lovely peacock mix. So loads of loads of other colours to, to choose from. Have a little look at my previous uh, Facebook posts. Um, so what we're going to do is use some 1mm cotton cord. So I've cut it into two metres. You don't need two metres really to do the neck. You probably need less, but it's better to have more because you might need to keep cutting the end off. So the only other thing that you're going to need is a pair of scissors. You're just going to need a pair of scissors and you might need to keep snipping the ends. All right, so that's all we need. Pack of buttons, scissors and our two metres of one millimetre cotton cord. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my buttons and I'm going to lay them out. So we've got the biggest in the middle and then tapering around to the smallest on the outside. Now, if you look at this design, you'll see that the buttons, the way that I'll show you in a sec how to do it, obviously, but the way that they sit is they sit. Can you see how that's working? They're sitting back to back. So actually, when you start to lay them out here, the ones that you put next to each other are going to sit towards the back. So just bear that in mind colour wise. But I kind of quite like to just spread them all out a bit, really. Um, so let's just start like that. So I would take some time, lay them all out so they're in a com all tapered, biggest in the middle, smallest to the outside. You can use buttons that have got two holes, buttons that have got four holes. You can use all of those. And then the other thing that I'm going to do before I complete this is I'm going to keep button out for the clasp later. Can you see how I've got a little button on the end there? So it's kind of what, a tw 10, 12 mil size button. And then I can put that over there and that's going to become the clasp. So keep a button out for that as well. So let's just pop that down. So I'm going to keep that button out for my clasp. So I'm going to do that now. And then there we go. Okay, so obviously it's nice to take a bit of time doing this bit because then you can get them exactly as you want. All right, so that's everything laid out. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start in the middle of our cord. So I need to get both ends. All right, so like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one end of the cord through one hole and one end through the opposite hole. So if you've got four holes, you work on the opposite side, okay? So I'm gonna go one through there and one through there, and I'm gonna pull that all the way down into the middle. So it's sitting in the middle like that. Can you see that stitch on the front? All right. Then I'm gonna work on one side. So I'm gonna hold that in place so it can't move. I'm coming out the back of that button. So I'm gonna go in the back of the next button. And I'm going to pull it all the way down into the, down to there, all right? And then I'm going to go through the other one. So you make your stitch at the front. So you see, again, I've gone through the hole on that side 
and I've come out the back and then I'm going to go into the back of the next button. So we keep repeating that. We go into the back of the button with the cord. Oh, let's get that in there. It's easier at the beginning because the whole size is and your bigger buttons are bigger. But as you start to move down to the smaller ones, you might then need to keep just snipping off the end here with your scissors um, because the whole sizes get smaller and then it's more difficult to thread it through. So you see how that, see I'm doing the stitch there, pull it through like that and keep that all together. There we go. See how they're sitting back to back. So I've gone around the front, out the back, through the back of this one, round the front, through the back, into the back of that one, round the front, I'm coming out the back again there. All right, so then I'm gonna put the next one on. And I just keep doing that, it's very therapeutic. So I'm gonna go through there and through there and pull that nice and close. So you can just hold it like that and see how you can just zip it all up together. Like that. Now what they will start to do is they'll start to overlap. So they'll start to kind of sit on top of each other, which is quite nice. So I'm going to go through there and through there. Ooh. And pull that down. There we go. Right, so this button here has got really big holes. So to just hold that in place, I'm going to do a little bit on this side now as well. So I'm going to go through here, so into the back, remember, we're going into the back of the button, around the front to make our stitch, like so, and then I'm going to pull it all the way down to there, like that, and do the same again. And we keep going like that until we've used up all of our buttons. Let's do that one. Do little sections if you wanted to if you just wanted to do a little section at the front you could do it like that or you could just keep going and then uh, so let me do that one yeah yeah you see so here what I've done here is I've put these two next but if I look at the colors that I've got here I was going to put this one on but then I've got those two colors sitting next to each other so be aware if I put that one on then it means I've got that um, kind of ready colour on that side and then I've got the colour on that side so they're sitting back to back so I'm going to put that ready one on just be aware of how you're putting them on because they are going to sit back to back they should be sitting with their backs touching each other there we go and then you can tighten it all up so you hold it like this pull down on the button and, and pull it all together you want it to be a really nice kind of chunky solid piece See how I'm just pulling it down? Yeah. Nice, isn't it? You can, if you want to, layer them up as well. So you could put another little one on the top, but let's just keep it like this for now. <laughs> Before we start going off in a hundred directions of all the sorts of other things you can do. Okay, so I'm going to go in there. There, and then I'm going to pull that down. There we go. I've swapped sides here, but it doesn't matter. Oh, into the back, I just went wrong then. Into the back. All right, so another little tip to remember when you're doing this is if you uh, need to, chip, to cut the ends off when you start getting round to those smaller buttons, if you need to cut the end off, rather than cutting it straight across like this, if you cut it at a bit of an angle, then you create kind of a point that you can thread through with. You see, I don't know whether you can see that, but I've created a bit of a, a point on the end there. So this makes it a bit easier to kind of thread it through. So that's quite nice to use. Also, we've got some new people that have joined us. So I'm gonna talk you through what we're doing again. So this is what we're, we're doing today. We're making a button necklace like this one a chunky button necklace. And you can see that all these buttons are sitting back to back. We're using some one mil cord. You can obviously watch this video from the beginning to see how you get it all started, but we're using some one mil um, cotton cord. And all we're doing is we're threading the buttons on. So we're coming out the back of this button. I just need to get rid of all those bits. How do I do that? 
Um, there we go. That's it. I like to see what you can see now. Okay, so we're coming out of the back of that one. And then we go into the back of the next one. We go into the back there. Come around the front and through there. So like I was saying before, if you have a button that's got four holes, you go through on the diagonal there. Because if you go through this way, it'll sit off to one side. So you go through on the diagonal, okay? All right, so let's do a few more. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna sit here and thread the whole thing up with you because you can just take your time doing this at home, watch the video back and um, see how to see how to do it and how to finish it. I'm just going to put a few more on this side and then I'm going to show you how you finish it off, which is really simple. Okay, get a few more on. Go through there and through there. Can you see what I'm doing? Pull it down. nice white one will look nice there I think this is my favorite button mix actually the um the vintage it's a really nice mix and they're all just plastic buttons but you can use any anything that you, you know any buttons that you've got at home if you've got a button box put another one on all right so I will just keep going with this I'm, I'm actually not that far from the end to be honest that shows you how quick the project can be but you see, that one's getting a bit tricky to get through there because these holes are a bit smaller. So I'm going to take my scissors, snip the end off like that, and then I should be able to get through that hole a bit easier. There we go. Okay, so once you've threaded up all your buttons, and I've not got that many left to do actually there. I've not got that many. You can just see them in the bottom of the screen there. Um... Once you've threaded them all up and you're happy with how they look, then all we do to make the clasp at the end is decide how long you want it to be. So for instance, if I wanted this one, I wanted it to sit here, just measure it around the back of your neck. Make sure you've got it in the place that you want it to be. So I've got it there, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this end a little bit over what I need. See how I've got the loop there? I've made a loop, so I've just turned that back on itself. Hold it together and then make a loop. So I'm going to hold both pieces together. It's not a good top to wear actually for you. Can you see it on there? So hold it like that and then bend it around your finger and then do your notch like this. Now make sure that that button that we saved from earlier that we're going to use for our clasp will fit through there. And the weight of it will hold it on so it won't undo. So just make sure that that button fits through the loop that you're making and then pull it nice and tight. So that way the cord's coming down there, you see? And then I can cut that off. See that? Okay. All right, now on the other end, I'm then going to thread my button on that's going to become my clasp. The other side of it. Pull it all the way down. See where I want it to go. So I want to level that up. You see what I'm doing, hopefully. Like that. Now, before I put that into place, where the knot is on this side, I'm going to place a knot on this side. So where the knot is at the bottom of the loop, I'm going to place a knot on that side as well. So like this. Pull that through there. So place a knot there. You see, and then they're the same. Same length. And then I'm going to pull that down and place a knot here as well. And that's how we do the clasp. Really straightforward. There we go. There. So then I can snip both those ends off. I 
you could put a little bit of like clear nail varnish or something on these knots so they don't um so they've just got a little bit more security but that should be fine and the weight of the buttons as this is put on the weight of the buttons will just hold that in place there we go so you see that's a little shorter one or you can make it completely solid so you can do these as small or as long as you like there we go so that's that one that's design number one See how different, you can make them look quite different from the front and back actually as well. All right, so that's that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a second design like this. So this one is using some nylon cord, but you can see I've also got some little beads in there as well. So these are really nice. I had somebody one year buy, um, well they had some buttons at home and then just kind of topped up with some of the things that we had in the shop. And they made, um, like a big long section like this that they put around their Christmas tree and some and what we do in the shop at Christmas is we make them and put them over the fireplace as a display which works really nicely as well so again this one um you just need your buttons your cord little pair uh, some little tiny beads and then also a pair of scissors um this hasn't got a clasp and we've just bound it together there you see how we've done that? So it just holds it together. So let's have a little look at doing this one. Okay, so let's move all those out of the way. Quick drink. Okay, so with this one, again, pack of buttons. This is our Peacock Feather Mix. So lovely colours. Look at those colours. Really nice. Even got a little bit of sparkle in there as well. See that? So really nice. Now with this one, I tend to try and split up the bigger and the smaller. Because this is a long one and it hasn't got a clasp, you can put a clasp on it if you wanted to. And you could do it in a similar way to, that I showed you there. But with this one, because it, it's just a long piece, there's not a front or a back. So you just want it all to kind of all be, all be it works quite well with this shirt, doesn't it? Um, yeah, you just want it all to be mixed up. Okay, so there, let's spread the big ones out so that's how I would start it off start by laying out the big ones making sure that the colors are evenly spaced around the design first and then I'm going to start using the smaller ones or the medium sized ones making sure that they're all split up color wise okay just pop that one in somewhere. Here's some dark blue ones. Start putting those in between. And then split those pinks up really because they're, even though they're the smaller ones, they're really gonna stand out in the design because they're such a bright color. So sometimes when you're planning things out, it's not necessarily the size of the bead or the button that you'll notice, it will be the color. So just be careful of that when you're planning pieces out. You could spend ages doing this and it is really nice to see. I'm gonna completely change that section there. Put some in over there. Okay, so let's get started with that. But you see how I start to lay it out. So I've done the bigger ones, I've done the, the mediums, I'm then gonna fit in all the smaller ones and I'll do that until they're all used up, depending on how long I want it. But also, I've made sure that those four bright pinks are all split out around the necklace because they're really going to grab your attention because of the colour of them. Okay, so the cord that we use for this is a great cord that you can use for loads of different things. It's a number 18 gauge nylon cord. Eslon is also described as. Now in the shop, we sell it in reels like this. £3.75 for 70 metres. Um, but in terms of this project, you only need three metres. So if you wanted to order a project pack, you could order that from me, pack of buttons and three metres of this. And I've put it all up on a previous post on Facebook. But yeah, we've got loads of different colours anyway, loads and loads of different colours for you to choose from. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do with this is start in the middle of the cord. So it doesn't really matter where we start, to be honest, because I'm not gonna put a clasp on it, so I'm just gonna start here. 
I need both the ends. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send one end through that hole from right to left, or it looks left to right with you probably. And then the other end of the cord through the same hole, but in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go through that way. So can you see, I've got one coming out that side, one coming out that side, okay? So we've got them coming out in opposite directions, and then I'm going to pull that button down into whoop, the middle of the cord there. And that's what it does. You see how it's made a stitch around there, and then I've got the cords coming out on each side, all right? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same through the next hole. So this one is going to go through that side. And then this end. So I'm just going to hold it like that. So keep it out of the way. And then this one is going to go through the opposite direction. So one goes through from one side to the other. And then the other one in the opposite direction. There we go. And I've made a stitch now over those. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and then get both the ends together and put a bead on. So the beads that we're using, these are called size eights. So I mentioned this in the project before when I talked about beads and stringing. So with seed beads, the, the number of the bead describes how many beads fit within an inch. So a size eight seed bead, which is what we're using here, that will fit eight beads whole side up in an inch, okay? So you see what I've done? I sent both pieces of the cord through the bead and then we send it down towards the button and it sits there like that. See, and it holds the cord together. And then we do the same again. So then I'm going to go, I'm going to use this nice big button now, because you might be able to, hopefully you'll be able to see it. So back to front, front to back, and then pull the ends all the way down. Like that. Oh, there we go. And then hold it in place. See how I'm pinching it? I find it easier to, to pinch it like that so it doesn't kind of all fall fall away from the button. So that one's going through that side and this one is going through that side. So pull them all nice and tight like that and that. There we go. See that? All right. And then let's get our little bead, get both ends together. What I am going to do is I'm going to chop that off so I've got the ends meeting nicely at the same point. And then I'm going to go through there. Let's go through, there we go. Send it through there. So that's why we're using size eights because they've got a slightly bigger hole size. You can use bigger buttons if you wanted to. So if you wanted to make this feel a little bit chunkier, you could use um, bigger buttons, or not buttons, sorry, <laughs> bigger beads to do this bit. As long, you just got to make sure that whatever cord you're using will go through the buttons and through your beads. There we go. And we keep on like this. This one takes a little bit longer because there's a little bit more involved. You're going through the, the holes more, you're going through the buttons and the beads, and so and it's gonna be longer, so it is gonna take longer to do. But you just carry on doing it like that. So it's really, really straightforward. Let me just pull that one down and do one more to show you. So I'm gonna go through one side to the other, and then go through in the opposite direction, like so, and then pull them all together. All right, like that, there we go. There we go, and then pinch it and go through the other way. Like that, through there. 
run that one through there. There we go. And then I'll be ready to pinch it together again with the beads. So then let's get those and put that through my size 8C bead. And there, there we go. Good light is necessary when you're doing this. There we go. All right. There's our little beads in between. And we're just going to carry on like that. Now, when we get to the clasp, where is the clasp on there again? Here. Okay, so if you have a little look there, I'm not sure whether you, hopefully you can see that. Can you see how there's two, there's actually four pieces running through that bead there at the end. So in fact, it's worth making sure that whatever bead you put at the end has got kind of good size holes that four pieces of cord would fit through. So it'd be worth checking that before you do it. Um, so we've got the four pieces of cord running through there. So where I've pulled this bit, I'm going to get the end of the cord here, go back through there in each direction, back through here in each direction, exactly the same that we've been doing. And then when it comes over to this side, I'm going to make a knot. And can you see how there's just a, a knot that side by the bead? And that's all we'll do. So as you're coming round this side, you're weaving through the button, link with a bead. And then you weave through that first button that you put on at the beginning. So weave through in exactly the same way. Make a knot on this side, nice and tight down towards the button and then snip it off and you can add a little bit of glue on it. This is nylon, so you can light the end of it and it will mount and you can stick it together. Be careful doing that. that. You don't want to set fire to anything and your buttons and your cord. So you can just use a little bit of super glue or you can use a little bit of um, clear nail varnish, like I said. So that's how you do that one. Okay, brilliant. All right, so um, like I said, you can get all of the materials from us at the shop. I am making trips to the shop once a week to minimise, um, but I can post things out to you. All the information is on my Facebook page and on this page, I put a previous post out. Um, I'm going to be sending out other posts about kits that we do. So just to keep you all entertained and and keep you um, happy making things during this uh, this this difficult time that we're going through. My next project that I'm going to be doing on Wednesday. No, not Wednesday. Sorry, Thursday is going to be a Hemo bracelet. So let me show you like these. So that's what we're going to be doing on Thursday, okay? But actually, tomorrow what I'm going to be doing, which is nice for you all to know, is I'm going to be on Radio Oxford at 10 o'clock in the morning on the Cat Ormond show, along with Scarlett, who's a student of mine, talking about this that we're offering people and seeing if other people want to get involved. So hopefully you can listen into that. But I will see you again on uh, Thursday. All right, have a good week, everybody. Take care. Bye.